Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 7. Uh, this be part 19 of our Let's Play, and we are playing Not A Hero, and I think we're basically done, to be honest. I think we've, uh, I think this is gonna end pretty abruptly. I don't feel like we're gonna fight Lucas, I think we're just gonna, like, arrest him. We'll probably have to fight some Giga thing. But it's not gonna be Lucas. Right, we can't go that way, do we? Hang on. Can I just, like, shoot it? Oh. That's awkward. It's out of ammo. Shot it twice for no reason. Boo! Okay, you have fun with that. Yeah, that's a big arena is what that is. We got your emails. We know you're funneling info to someone. That's none of your I have 95 shotgun shells. Holy shit. How much fighting am I gonna have to do here? Okay. Wow, strong med injectors. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, wow, he is actually here. Also, really, Chris? Like, just punch him directly in the face. What? Didn't you want to question him? I, I don't... No. I don't believe it. Believe it. It's over. What? No. No way. Just shut up and accept it, Lucas. Well, maybe he is going to, like, transform and fight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, okay, so Lucas did transform. There you go. Okay. Uh, sure. Like it haven't been since we got here. Well... Caution and or extreme caution are not your fortes, Chris. So, answer is not really. Also, hello? Oh, well, that's a thing. Okay, I'm just gonna... Why... Okay, hang on. Why did I let that happen? There you go. Okay, we won't use the super bullets. Crap. Yeah, no, seriously, I am shocked that Lucas actually transformed. Oh god, you are right there, aren't you? Here you go, have another one, have another one. Oop, oh, reload. Whoop. Get away from that. God, it is just, like, pretty easy to dink him, eh? Ow. Ow. Yeah, this is a bit more... a bit more Chris. God, just get right up in there. Alright, go for the block. Ow. God, we must be doing just giga damage. Whoop. Okay, I'm gonna dose up. He's definitely doing something. Oop, he's on the roof. Whoop. Ow. Yeah, I definitely did not expect it to go this way. Is he coming over the top again? Yeah, he is. Ooh, okay. That looks less fun. Oh my god. Oh, good. 
Okay, so it must be pretty low now. What are you doing? Yeah, that's what I thought you were doing. Yeah, this shotgun is just beefy. I'm about halfway through my oxygen, and about halfway. Ooh, okay. Didn't think that would hurt. Well, I guess it kind of didn't. Alright, there we go. Is he down yet? Luke, is you dead yet? Oh, I think I'm going to die here. Oh. oh, doesn't matter, I died anyway. Wow. I uh, gave him more berserk, do as much damage as you can when his vulnerable innards are exposed. Yeah, but you're also on a timer, though. Oh, okay, we just go straight into the battle. That, that actually works out better. Okay, maybe I want to... Yeah, okay, well, first of all, do that. But maybe I just want to hit him with the shotgun. Ow. Ow. Okay, he's going to try and hit me a lot. Nope. Yeah, so shotgun, I think, is the way to go here. Okay, is he going to try and gas me already? I'm going to heal up anyway. Oh, wow, yeah, he is. He is trying to gas me. Ow. Yeah, the double hit, not as cool. Oh my god, there's an oxygen supply station. What am I stuck on here? Ow. I need to get back in the middle somewhere. Nope. Ow. Ow. Dose it. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and just gonna go ahead and dose myself again. God, I don't, like, know what I expected. Again, like, how is sort of Lucas more threatening than, like, Jack, right? You'd think because Jack's sort of the oldest, he'd be way more threatening. Not much oxygen left. Here you go. Can I... Oop, I guess not. Ow. Oh my god, I got him. Whew. I was a bit worried there, but I was like, oh, you know, oh, there's another oxygen station over there. I was about to say that I was like, oh, you know, I only get one use out of the oxygen station, so he must be, like, close to death. But, okay, that completely blows away my idea. I probably should have died there. Game over. Nice. Nice, Chris. Well played. Um, yeah, okay. 
I mean, I'm glad there was a bit of a boss battle at the end of that. I would have hated for that to just sort of... Just fizzle out and be like, oh yeah, you're arrested, Lucas. Or fight just like an army of molded. Because that's just kind of not fun. Or we just... Yeah. Like... Yeah. I mean, what do you want? Do you want the computers or do you want me to stop the upload? Still looks nothing like Chris. And I think from what I've seen of Resident Evil 8... Um, they've gone back to, like, an older design of Chris, or they've just, like, changed it so it looks a lot more like him. Because, yeah, this looks nothing like Chris Redfield. Do you think this would be, like, his son or something? Well, probably. But there'll be something else. Of course. I'm on my way. Okay, I mean, all right. I don't know if I like that DLC or not. It's, it is definitely more of like, more of Resident Evil 7. Um, but then like, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Resident Evil 7. I think it's fine, um, but I don't like, I don't like the protagonist. I don't really like the story. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Resident Evil 7, not my favorite. But, I can't argue that that wasn't entertaining. That was definitely not very Resident Evil, barring the massive fight at the end, but you know. Um, now, we could head on to End of Zoe. But we're kind of like halfway through an episode, so I'm wondering if we just do some band footage. We can do the 21, so I have played this one before, um, but it is quite fun. So... We turn at least three times in a row. Okay, so basically, the way this works is you're playing blackjack, right, against an enemy, and you basically, like, bet fingers, and when you run out of fingers, you die. So, you have a lot of, like, cards and stuff that make people bet more. And, so there you go, right? We have two up. So, draw one trump card. Also, your opponent's bet increases by two. Right? Then we have another two up. And another two up. And a remove. Return the last face-up card your opponent drew to the deck. And draw one card. Okay, so I actually do forget how this works. So we have 18 out of 21, and he has something. Um, so I can use a trump card. I can go two up. So I draw a trump card, and his bet goes up by two. So I'm going to do the same again, and maybe take him out completely. So I'm going to keep my current hand. I definitely don't want to draw. Okay, it's kind of bad. Give me another. Ooh, nah, he's he's got to be busted. What's he have two? Twenty. So well, he's got one. No, I don't think so. Unless he does bust. I guess he must be. Oh no. Yeah, so he had over 21, but you can, like, bluff. Um, but yeah, so he's he's done. So that's it. We're in survival. So that was a pretty good thing. We, we played two trump cards, basically lost nothing, and took him out first one. Let's cut two of your trump cards at random, then draw three more. That's pretty good. Okay, so basically we got one because we won. Both players draw one trump card. Sure. Exchange. Swap the last cards drawn by you and your opponent. Okay. Okay. Trump cards are always concerning for him. Because you never know what they've got. 
Um, okay, use a trump card. So we do have the two ops. Exchange, swap the last cards drawn by you. Trump switch, discard two of your trump cards at random. I kind of don't want to use trump switch. I guess it's probably better to use them now, because there's less of a chance that I'm going to use a trump switch. So, let's do that. Okay, exchange is pretty good. Return's pretty good. Shield, your bet is reduced by two. Okay. So, I'm going to draw a card. 17. So he's got 16 plus. Opponent's bet is raised by half the number of trump cards they're holding. Oof. Well, that's bad. So I could just get rid of a bunch of trump cards. That's probably the answer. Draw the 7 card. Yeah, so that's it too. So you're both running on a deck of 1 to 11, I believe it is. So I have the 1, the 9, and the 7, so he can't have any of those. So he could... He can't have a 5. He could have a 4, which means would put him on 20. Um, I'm just going to up his bet again, I think. So that he dies. Now I can reduce my bet... And actually what I'll do is I will exchange, I'll swap cards. So I now have 21, he has something. So if he had 20 before, he has 16 now. Um, and I think I will... Yeah, I think I'll keep this. So he's going to have to draw. Oh, no, okay. Well, I win. Um, because he was, he was never winning that. But see, these guys are pretty easy, right? I probably shouldn't be using these, like, additional bets, because for the later guys, I'm gonna need it. Because they have some very bullshit cards. Move the last trump card your opponent placed on the table. Very good. Okay. So I have 12. I could get an 11 here and die, but... I think I can return? Yeah, you drew to the deck. So I could just do that. And you can also use these, like, seven cards. So I draw the seven, unless it's gone, in which case he has it. But that doesn't really help me. I don't want a seven. Nineteen's not enough, so I think I'm just gonna draw. Ooh, okay, I got a trump card. Okay, I have eighteen. Give me another. So he has 12 plus. He can't have 20. He could have 21. He could have the 9. Um, I don't want to swap cards with him. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to return his card. I'm going to keep my current hand. Because I want to see him draw something that's not a 10. Okay, a 5. So if he has 9, that puts him on 16, meaning I am higher. Um, I don't really want a 5, so I think... I'm going to keep this. We can't have a 10. He could have an 11, which still doesn't save him. Yeah, okay. So this is generally how it's supposed to go, is a progression, right? Because now we bet... Oh, we keep betting one. Ooh, so he either has 18 or 17. So... Well, I'll have to draw, see what happens. 18. So what I say, he either has... He either has 18 or 17. I think on a draw we both lose. So, I think I'll risk it, and I'll just keep my current hand. Okay. Nah, he, he was way low. He was way low. So this is just like counting- this is the ultimate card counting simulator. Because you are trying to figure out what they've got based on knowing that there are only 11 cards in the deck. Um, I mean, I'll probably just draw a card. So he's got maximum 20. See if he stays. He probably will. Yeah, so I think he's either got 19 or 20. I'm going to draw a card. Two. Still not bad. So if I get 11, I know he doesn't have it. He's probably got a 10. 17. 
Okay. I can't get a one, two, three, or a five. There's actually a lot of cards here that I don't want. I'm going to try and draw the four. He's got 13. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, I'm going to keep my hand. Yeah, let me guess. Ooh, you've got 13. Oh, look at that. Um, that is why you really want... Like, if you play one of those cards, like 7 or 4 or whatever, and you um, find out what they have, man, it is such a, such a, like, power play. Okay. Give me another. See, he doesn't want to lose a thing. Wow, he's going low. Um... I don't really think I want anything here. Okay, 15. Give me enough. Ooh. You could have 8. I have 4, 5, 6. 7 doesn't help me, it puts me over, so... Though, if I swap us, take his 10, and then we destroy his trump card. And then I'll keep this. He's got 19 at best. Okay, he's got another shield. Asshole. Okay, he's definitely busted. There is no way. He can have a double up bet. Nice. So he is actually going to die here. I don't think he's got 21. Oh, you asshole. Remove three shield type cards from your side. Your opponent's base is raised by three while this card's on the table. It kind of doesn't matter. I mean, I no longer want to risk it, but... I am just gonna clear his thing. Like, what are you gonna do about it, mate? He is pretty confident, though. Nothing happens? Okay, sorry. So draw, nothing happens. Uh, Trump switch is pretty good in this situation. So 13. So he could have 20. I think I'm going to try and draw the 7. And then... Oh, shit, I don't want to do that. Oh my god, or did I? Wow, that was accidentally stupid. Um, yeah, no, I'm increasing your bet, friend. <laughs> Um, yeah. I pressed the wrong button, and it just worked out. Okay. Oh, are you gonna do the thing again? Uh... Again, like, bad luck, friendo. I think I'm gonna keep this. Yeah. Bad luck, friend. He did have the 11. Ooh. So that's it. You kind of want to, like, save your... You want to save your trump cards when you know you're going to win. Because if you play a ton of trump cards and then you draw, that's, like, the worst thing ever. Um, draw two. Okay. Not a terribly useful card. Obviously, there's some situation. Okay. Um, he's got a two. <laughs> Uh, you are definitely busted. You are 100% busted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait. I'm just thinking here. Play the two-up bet. Draw the best possible card from the deck. So that's actually a really fun one. I'm going to play the trump switch and hope I don't get rid of the perfect draw that I just got. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ah, oh, I didn't get rid of it. Awesome. Okay, you can have two additional bets. Close to 24 wins while the card's on the table. Yeah. Um, no, nah, I'm okay. You are definitely busted, asshole. Oh my god, mate. You're dead. You're so dead. <laughs> <laughs> you were so dead. <laughs> I guess he didn't have any cards to uh, to resist this. 
But yeah, no, bad luck on that draw. Okay, now this guy is tough. So he's got a bunch of trump cards that are just really bad. Uh, I have a natural 21, which feels pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it. Just got one of your trump cards at random, force your opponent to draw the highest number card from the deck. Yeah, see? But, I can just return... I can just bounce that back to my deck. So, screw you. Keep current hand. So he can't have the 11, so he doesn't have 21. He could have it now? No, he can't, because he can't have another 7. So, I just keep my hand? I keep doing it. I keep pressing escape, but it's actually... Close. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to keep this. I'm only going to take one finger off him. Is the problem. He could have it now. And I will say, if he does have the 21 off that, because he could have the 6. Um, and if he does, that's bullshit. I'm gonna stay. He probably does. Is he going to stay? Yeah, I think he's got the 6. No? No? Okay. He started with a 2. That's that's a... So he started with 2 and 3. That's a rough draw. Okay, exchange is pretty good. It means that no matter what good stuff he plays, I can take it instead. Okay. That's really annoying, because again, his cards are really bad. Okay. Okay, I want to draw the five. So I think we just draw? Nice. Okay. He doesn't have the 11. He... He could have the 10, he could have... He can't have another 3, so he doesn't have 21. He could... Well, he's definitely beating me, unless he's busted. So, I'm gonna make him bet more. Try and take him out. Go for 24? <sighs> like, maybe. Perfect draw? Can I draw the 4? Would tell me what he has. I'm going to use it. Okay, so I he does not have the four. Uh, which I think means... He can't have a three. He could have the two. So he could have 20. He could, he's either 20 or bust. So I'm going to keep this. See what he does. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, so he had the 20. It's a good call. Good call. Okay, well... Boom! First five opponents. Dunzo. Was that it? Oh, I killed 15 opponents. Wow! I thought I had to do 15 from the start. Very cool. Complete survival. Perfect draw plus. Nice. Ultimate draw. Complete survival without being tortured once. Oof. Um, reach 21 at least three times in a row. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Went around having used at least 15 drum cards. <laughs> oh, I mean, that'd be tough. You survive a plus without being tortured once. Defeat the elusive Mr. Big Head. Defeat the elusive Mr. Big Head two times. Okay. Okay. Um, so I have not tried survival plus. But that might have to wait until the next episode. But the next episode will probably play End of Zoe. Um, that was just kind of like a little bonus thing because I don't want to start End of Zoe. I know it's going to be like at least as long as Not a Hero. So... Didn't really want to like start that and get a tiny way through it. But anyway guys, we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much everyone for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine who enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode.
คืนบาย